We all talk about it. How often do you talk about the weather? Um, probably every day. Every day to be friends. Well, quite a lot, actually. But how many people actually know how the weather is put together? Did you know how the weather on TV is put together? No. Not, not precisely. I know they get data from the Met Office. Well, I would imagine that they get all the information from computers. Welcome to a day in the life of a weather presenter. I'm here at the BBC Broadcasting Centre in Newcastle to meet Hannah Behrman, who is Look North's weather presenter. In this documentary, she'll be explaining what happens behind the scenes and we'll be with her every step of the way. So this is the weather desk and here we've got today's cloud cover. This is a really important part of the job, just keeping an eye on the changing satellite and radar images. You can see it was really clear before we had great spells of sunshine. And then if I just play this image on, you can see that all day today that cloud has thickened up in the east. It's been a really warm day though, the warmest of the year so far. So this is the main Look North news desk. This is where the hard news stories are presented, the headlines and the top of the programme. Over here is the soft news area. So this is quite literally the soft area. It's a nice comfy settee, but it's also where the softer news stories are presented, the and finally stories, the sports stories, and of course this is the area where the main news anchor will throw to the weather. And this is where we present the weather from. There's a nice handy spot on the floor, if I can see it, which says weather one. And it tells me exactly where I've got to stand to present our forecast from this screen behind me. A plasma screen which will be lit up later for me to do the forecast for real. This is where we do our broadcasts for Radio Cumbria to Carlisle and Radio Tees, which is based in Middlesbrough. We use ISDN and I'm just about to dial in now and talk to them over at Radio Cumbria. BBC Radio Cumbria weather. BBC Radio Cumbria. Well, we progressed with a bit more decent weather today, so we uh, do we have the gods to thank all the weather, the weather presenters. I suspect the latter is Hannah Bain. Thanks ever so much. Well, definitely staying settled with some more spring sunshine to come through much of this week. That's the way the weather looks. This is the gallery. It's where people such as the director, producer and vision mixer sit during Look North. Each person has a different role, but their main job is controlling what goes out on air. All presenters and reporters who are live during the programme get counted down by a member of the gallery. They can hear the countdown in their earpiece. This is to let the presenter know how long they have left on a particular item. Hannah also gets counted down when she's presenting the weather and has to finish the forecast by the time the counter has reached zero. Just about to go in now to get changed for Look North. Hannah is now ready for Look North and is on her way to the studio. She goes live to the region on BBC One at 6.30. Great stuff. Right, time for the weather now. And what a day it was, Hannah. Lovely this morning. Absolutely. It was gorgeous. Look North is currently on air. And as you can see, the gallery are hard at work making sure the programme runs smoothly. Hannah's presenting the weather, which means Look North is almost finished. After the programme, there's one thing Hannah needs to do before she leaves, and that's pre-recording the late weather. Okay, so now we're in our small studio where I'm going to pre-record our weather for the late news. This is the weather that goes out after the 10 o'clock news. And we've got our new model data in now from the Met Office so we can record it. Hello there, good evening. Well, it's been the warmest day of the year so far today and tomorrow could be even warmer in some places. Elsewhere, though, should be dry. I'm now here at the Baltic Art Gallery in Gateshead to meet back up with Hannah to find out how she got interested in the weather and what makes a good weather presenter. Well, I'll be finding out. So when did you first become interested in the weather? Well, I think it's always been a bit of an interest. My whole family are very interested in the weather and the outdoors. Right. My dad's a, a fisherman and I grew up in a Pennines village, so I have lots of early memories of being snowed off school. Right. So it goes back to that, really. What do you think makes a good weather presenter? A couple of things. I think, uh, I think you've got to be able to talk about the weather in a way that everyone can immediately understand. Right. I think people are busy when they're watching the television or listening to the radio. You haven't necessarily got their full attention. I don't think people need to be baffled with all the science and that kind of thing. I right. think it's great to throw it in there, but I think at the same time you don't need to be sort of showing off about how much you know about meteorology. I think right. it's about putting it into ordinary language that people can immediately pick up. 
and I also think um, you've hopefully got to bring a little bit of interest to it as well without necessarily trying to be you know a massive character on air right. I don't know quite how that um, how that works I think yeah just just bring a little bit of enthusiasm to it okay Hannah thanks for coming here today and thanks for being part of the documentary it's a pleasure so the next time you see the weather on TV or hear it on the radio you'll hopefully have a better idea of how the weather is put together from me Daniel Allen goodbye <laughs>